That's actually the first prayer that a uh, Orthodox Jew says in the morning. I wrote it for my son. I wanted him to get up every morning and say the prayer. Translated very loosely, Moda Ani Lufanecha, that I thank you, Elochai Vikayom, Everlasting King. Shehechazar to be nishmasi bechemla that you return my soul back mercifully. Rabbi Munasef, great is your is your faithfulness. It's an, an interesting prayer. We do this even before we get out of bed. You know, they medically people could get up, they just jump out of bed. Many times they get dizzy. There is a belief that if you take 12 seconds and count to 12 and then get up, that you'll be in much better shape. Well, there are 12 words to Modani. So you say it before you get out of bed. Your feet are maybe on the floor, but you haven't gotten up yet. So it's a health thing at the same time. Music and um, memory are two different parts of the brain. So when you sing something, there's a greater chance of you remembering. I do the grace after meal, which is a very long prayer. And if I had to say it, I cannot. But if I sing it, I know every word. So music becomes very important in that. So I wanted my son to be able to get up in the morning and sing Mo Da'ani. And it's interesting how we can translate things in different ways. Mo da means to thank, but it also means to acknowledge. And I think that's important, not just to thank God, but first and foremost, to acknowledge that there is a God. You know, there was a great rabbi who became a chassid in the time when there was a argument between what we call the chassidim and the misnagdim, two opposing views as how to serve God. And this Rebladi Yitzhak Bardichev, when he got married, he told his wife that he wanted to go learn with the chassidim. His father, his father-in-law was very much opposed to it. But he left. He was gone for about a year and a half. And in that, during that time, his father-in-law tried to get his wife to divorce him. She wouldn't. And when he came back, his father-in-law, in a very denigrating way, said to Reb Levi Yitzhak, So, what did you learn? What did you learn in his rich for all that time with the Hasidim? He said, I learned that there's a God in the world. <laughs> his father-in-law very snidely said, That's what you learned. He said, The shiksa, the cleaning girl, she believes there's a God in the world. Rabbi Levi Yitzchak said to his father-in-law, she believes there's a God in the world, but I know there's a God in the world. Moda Ani, an acknowledgement to know that there is a God, and if there's a God, it comes with more. What do we do from there? Shehechazar be nishmasi, that you return my soul. But let's go back. Moda Ani lefanecha, I admit, I am before you that a person needs to know that you're standing in front of God all the time. We all exist in the mind of God. As long as he thinks about us, we hear it. So it's a very personal relationship, even more than a father with a child. Shehechazar to be nishmasi, that you return my soul. We believe that death, pardon me, sleep, is one sixtieth of death. That when a person goes to sleep, their soul goes back up to heaven and soars in the higher realms. And that we believe that God, that we entrust our soul to him, that he'll return it in the morning. And he does. Better than we gave it to him. We go to sleep tired and we wake up refreshed. What a gift. And not only that, that sleep gives us a chance to recreate ourselves every day. If yesterday was tough, well, guess what? Got another chance today. God gave me another chance. What if it was great? Do it again. That maybe it wasn't an accident and you can keep doing it. And we thank God again for returning, just like we have to return things to other people, and God returns our soul back to us. And He returns it back refreshed and with all joy. So it's something again every morning. By the way, we do this even before we wash our hands, since we believe that sleep is one sixtieth of death. There is a defilement that goes on our fingertips. 
Our fingernails are really a remnant of what covered the body of Adam when he was created. After the sin, it fell off, and then God had to make him clothing. Before then, his whole body was protected by a nail-like substance, which we still have today as a remembrance to that. Somehow, some way, when we wake up in the morning, the defilement leaves our body, but stays on our fingertips. And that's why we wash our hands three times both ways to remove that defilement of the dead and to move on to a life, a day of life and of joy, hopefully. And more Also get these songs on my website at um, base-mordechai.com. Again, that I did in a studio, so you might find it a little different. There's harmonies and things. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. Hopefully, you'll find it good in the morning when you hear it. God bless and be well. Thank you.